What a spectacular day here in Utica. This is how we assert our commitment to the Mohawk Valley and make it real. These are not just words. These are real dollars that are gonna help with this transformation. I wanna talk about what SUNY Poly is known for. It's known as one of America's premier public polytech institutions, without a doubt. And we're gonna make it even better. We're also investing not just in technology, but in healthcare. Let's expand the health science wing in Donovan Hall. Let's update and modernize the nursing labs. There's so many great innovations. This is how we give better patient-centered care. This significant capital investment of $44 million stands as a testament to Governor Hochul's commitment, the legislature's commitment, and SUNY's commitment and belief in SUNY Poly. And these developments at SUNY Poly are more than just campus improvements. They are catalysts for regional economic growth and prosperity. As we stand here today, we are not merely celebrating this announcement. We are reaffirming our commitment to the SUNY Poly community and to this school's role as the premier polytechnic school in the nation. I'm confident that if we all keep working together, building community and advancing in these vital industries, we will create the Mohawk Valley's version of Silicon and maybe Silicon Carbide Valley in our community, in our valley, and for our state. And this institution has become and continues to evolve as a leader in health sciences and technology in all areas that will make a difference not only in an individual's lives but in our community's life. And that's the important thing that we see here today. I could not think of a better place for SUNY to invest right here at SUNY Poly. By investing in these programs and workforce development, we will play that crucial role of improving the overall quality of life and well-being for all those in New York State and beyond. Workforce development is always thriving in the Mohawk Valley, and this academic support is the foundation that is necessary to thrive. We're building, and, and, and Governor's building, an institution on the premise of what we built in this in this community. Healthcare, new hospital, expanding Rome Health and Rome Hospital, doing that, technology, robotics, all of the things that we've been building. And it continues today and it continues with a huge investment. And that investment is not lost. It is significant and it is making this institution in this, this area, this part of the region, of the state, of upstate New York, the best it can be when it comes to all of those areas.